I'm a lieutenant in Kfir Brigade. I'm in charge of the guidance department of the training base. And guidance meaning guiding the people or guiding the missiles? Guiding the people. I, uh, I need to teach them how to shoot, how to run, how to climb, everything they know before they go to war. Uh -huh. So you're like a, a, in the drill sergeant boot camp? Yeah, I'm in the training base, which means we get the, the new uh, combat, yeah, recruits. Um, and my job is I have eight months to train them. Me and my soldiers, that's what we do. Uh, do you train only women? Only men. Boys, essentially, 18 years old? Yeah. Being trained by women? Being trained by women and men, but uh, women are the guidance force of the army, so uh, it's a bit hard for them sometimes, but we tell them what to do and how to. Uh, are you Jewish? Yeah, of course. Your family's from? From Ethiopia. They made Aliyah in uh, 1990, and I am the first daughter to be born in Israel for my, for my family. You have brothers? Yeah, I have nine brothers and sisters. Um, we are all we all grew in the army. Um, besides me, I have another four sisters who are officers, uh, and my last and youngest brother will be joining uh, the army this summer. Just out of curiosity, how would your parents feel if one of their children married uh, an Ashkenazi or uh, Sephardic? It already happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have nieces and nephews who are half Ethiopian and half Ashkenazi, and it's beautiful. And how about the, uh, the Ashkenazi uh, Machatanim? We love them. We love, uh, we love everybody in our family, so it's great. You seem so sweet. How tough can you get with these recruits? Uh, when I need to, believe me, once I get my weapon on, I get uh, really tough. <laughs> it's not that hard. What were you here talking about tonight? Um, I'm here to appreciate what FIDF does for us and to honor the job. Uh, it's amazing. You don't get to see these people every day, but we feel them. We feel them on our backs. And you can see the support everywhere when you're in the Army, in the, in the IDF. And I'm here just to say thank you, to say how they support me during my service. And uh, that's it. What type of things do they provide FIDF provide for the soldiers? Um, under my command I had over 10 lone soldiers who got to fly home thanks to FIDF. In my training base they are building right now a sports hall, a new gymnastic hall um, that we didn't have before and it's amazing. Um, my pharmacy, my pharmacy, my everything. Fun days for uh, lone soldiers, ice cream trucks in the middle of the heat of July. I can think of a million other things that the FIDF did for me, but uh, even the smaller things and the biggest things are just amazing because people love us and care about us even though they don't know us, and that's an amazing feeling. Where is your base? Where do you serve? I serve uh, near Jordan in the Bika, uh, as I said, at the Kfir Brigade training base. Is that the Jordan Valley? Yeah. Is it Army? What do you mean? Ar uh, Sahal is army? It's an army base? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it difficult in the climate there in the summer? Yeah, our climate is crazy because in the winter it's freezing cold, but in the summer it gets over 40 degrees. Um, and running in this climate and jumping and doing everything we need to do, uh, no matter if it's winter or summer, so it's extremely hard. Um, but we have to deal with it. That's the army. How old are you now? I'm 23. Are you happy doing what you're doing? I love doing what I'm doing. Being in the army, it's not only a duty in Israel, but it's a privilege. And being an officer even more, I get to change people's lives. I get to protect people's lives. And um, that's the best I can do, I believe. Do the, uh, do the soldiers complain about their work? Sometimes, of course. Everyone complains about everything all, all the times. 
Uh, but in the end, we live in Israel, and we feel the obligation and the responsibility in everything that we do, even the smallest things. So, of course, everyone complains, even me, but uh, we love what we do in the end of the day. Do you hear from former uh, trainees, former recruits that you've trained who've gone on to careers in the military? Yeah, yeah. I keep in touch with all of my soldiers. Um, people I trained three or four years ago and I'm still uh, in contact and it's amazing. It's the best connection you can get. The Army friends are our friends forever. Don't you want to train women? I would love to train women. I didn't get to do it. I trained women in uh, officers' schools. I used to be a commander in the officers' schools base. Uh, so that was the only chance. And it was amazing. Nothing like this. Because um, women are the real power of the army. There's nothing else to say. What, what's the strength of the uh, Israeli uh, female soldier? I think... Um, I don't mean physical strength. No, no. I, I, um, braveness. They are brave. They are not afraid to do something that never has done before. Um, I was in a base who was mostly guys, and I wasn't afraid to get up and do anything I wanted to make things better. And it's amazing. Um, think modesty. Uh, we don't brag about everything we do. Uh, we just do it because we believe in what we do. And that's what makes women so powerful and so important in the idea. What's your impression of uh, the Americans that you've met on this tour? Extremely nice, extremely appreciative and loving. Um, I'm, I've been saying thank you to all these random people I don't know because I feel like I need to. They all care about us and they all love us and uh, it's great to see the Jewish connection from so far away.